second one is the Stanford area where they, um, they propose to add additional bilinear term to calculate the uh, document level of tension. The third one is the tension sum reader. So this is the first one to propose to use um, pointer network to directly pick the answers from the document. So this is our previous work at Poly 2016 and we propose to utilize Harry's um, Harry work to calculate individual document level of tension and using uh, merging heuristics to get a final prediction. So this is a attention model and they propose to use several codes for refining the document and the parameter. <coughs> okay, um, I will begin to introduce our work in, uh, both in um, neural network model and then as the ranking strategy. Let's begin with the um, neural network. So uh, here is the uh, our uh, here is the architecture of our model, which is very simple, and I will introduce each part of our model in detail. So the first part is the uh, contextual embedding, which is uh, stereotype in uh, reading comprehension. So we first uh, transform the each query uh, and document word in, into um, word embeddings and feed them into uh, the bidirectional GRU units. And then we will calculate the similarity between each document and every word. Uh, for synchronicity, in this paper, we just calculate the uh, dot product between um, document and every word. So you can um, see this uh, is very simple. <coughs> um, and then after we obtain the mesh metrics, we will get the individual uh, document level attentions. With, with respect to each variable, um, so uh, we can do um, apply softmax functions to each column to get the individual attentions with respect to um, each variable. So um, this is the uh, key components in our paper uh, called the attention over attention mechanism. So um, unlike uh, the previous work. Uh, we dynamically assign the ways to individual document level attentions. Um, first, um, we apply an average pooling um, to make a conclusion to these higher level attentions, indicating the overall importance of the, um, each query word. And we have uh, each query word and the sum of um, and the individual governmental level attentions. In this way, we can calculate the uh, weighted sum of individual government level attentions to get the final attention dis distributions. And at the end of the model introduction, I, I will give a uh, vivid uh, example to demonstrate this mechanism. So final, finally, we map the attention results to the vocabulary space and uh, accumulate uh, attention value which occurs in the different place of the document but shares the same word using the point network and some attention mechanism proposed by the HIDAC 2016. So here uh, I will give an intuitive example of our attention over attention mechanism as well as uh, comparison to our previous work. Mm, let's say um, I don't I don't give a uh, give, uh, give a shot at the story, but uh, let's say this is a story about uh, Tom bought a diamond ring for his beloved girlfriend. So here is the query, Tom loves what? Um, and the first line is the parallel level attention, uh, which is calculated using the uh, efficient proposed data. Um, and the second line is the candidate answers. As we can see that there are three candidates, Mary, Diamond, and Misai. Um, so in our previous work, we didn't care about the parallel attention, and uh, so we calculate uh, average score. So the final answer will be the diamond. In this work, we assign different uh, ways to the parallel. So the final answer will be map, and this is the correct answer. So oh, okay, I will paste. Um, this is. <laughs> This is the ranking strategy because we want to mimic the process of double checking in terms of the fluency and 
remnants of uh, pregnancies. The main idea is to reveal the candidate answer to the query of the plan to from a complete sentence and using the additional features to score the sentence. So here are the procedure of the ranking. We first generate candidate answers and fill the candidate into the query and we use additional features such as language model features to score these uh, sentences and we use um, k-best mirror algorithm to tune the uh, weights uh, uh, among these features which is uh, commonly used in statistical machine translation and finally we will do a restoring and ranking. So in this paper we utilize three um, features. Um, the first is word, word language model and second is word trans language model and the uh, third is also a word language model but the train on the dominant part of test time with a sample by sample. Okay, here are the experiments. Uh, I will skip the comparing uh, the settings. Let's come to the final results. Um, our uh, single model is significant in the output from the previous work. And then you can see that uh, after applying the ranking strategy, there is a significant uh, boost in the performance. So um, this is. Um, um, uh, the second one is uh, we compare our work with previous our previous work, which uh, utilize uh, merging heuristic. As we can see that adopting the attention over attention mechanism could substantially improve the performance, indicating that it, it is necessary to assign different ways to each category. And this is the ensemble uh, results. We use three D ensemble form four models and uh, the results are also fine. And these are the ranking ablations and we as we can see that uh, um, uh, to answer the name entity is requiring more uh, local information than the global information. Um, this uh, also we, we do the quantitative analysis. This is the accuracy versus the length of the document. As we can see that uh, uh, our uh, attention and attention model uh, are good at handling long, uh, uh, long documents. Also, uh, we have an intuition that the model tends to choose the high frequency word. Uh, we also found the graph of this accuracy versus the uh, frequency of the answer. So we can see that uh, the model can tends to choose either high or low frequency word. Okay, here comes the conclusion. We propose a novel mechanism called attention over attention to dynamically assign ways to the individual attentions. And we also propose two-way attention adopting both dog to parry and parry to dog attentions. Um, in the future work we are investigating uh, to a more complex attention mechanism while adopting external knowledge and we will also look into the question that need uh, comprehensive uh, reading for several sentences. <coughs> and uh, um, as a part of our future work we have um, um, modified our model and uh, applied it to the uh, recent Stanford smart task and uh, reached the state of our performance and the paper will be available in the future. Okay, yeah, references. Okay, that's all for my presentation. Thank you and have a nice day in my work.